Nintendo first party game. Well, whatever. Moles and shit. Uh, it still makes noises even when it's muted. And yet if you set it to off, it fucking... Plays at quintuple speed. I feel like playing an RPG, actually. Words. This game has pretty cool music, actually. I've thought about speedrunning it. If I was going to speedrun it, it would probably be this game. I have no idea if anyone's going to come in here. I can't decide if these characters are racist. I don't know if they're supposed to even be people. Dinosaurs. You run fast enough, you can actually hit the ball and damage yourself. Why is that possible? I mean, it's kind of cool that you can outpace the ball. Suplex. I'd even try going underground. Nothing. It's like the only stage in the entire game that has two doors to break. Where's the funny sign? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Forgot what I was going to say, sorry. Ha. Huh. I should stream Mischief Makers. That'd be kind of a cool game to stream. And I do love it. But then I'd have to get an A rank on Missile Surf again. <laughs> which is my, uh, which is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in a video game. I've done that on console too, which is completely fucking terrifying. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. This game will make you into a vegetarian. Why'd I go this way first? If I'd have been faster, I'd grab the cabbage and push it in. That way it wouldn't have been in the way. Kill T-Rex with cabbage. Which makes veggies seem a lot more appealing. <coughs> Excuse me. He said to no one in particular. Seems kind of silly. You can just push the block into the push the ball into the the wall, and it still breaks. It seems like you should have to throw it in, but from a gameplay perspective, I can see why that wouldn't fly. Potion. I think you only actually need the map and the uh, compass. It's not the map and the compass, is it? What is it? Map and the radar. Don't need the surrender or the uh, potion. Which is good because you can use the surrender. Or the no, that's not right. No, yeah, you don't need the surrender or the potion. If you use the surrender, you can't ever get a full 100% score. I don't know if there's a way to redo levels. There probably is knowing Nintendo. Shigeru Miyamoto worked on this game. Out of my way, dinosaurs. That doesn't seem like it was an intended way to kill that guy. That's literally the only way to get the ball out, and that doesn't seem intended either.
get the cabbages. That's the surrender. I need to not forget about that. The first game is actually not as easy as the second game. The farmer's path towards you is kind of annoying. Ow. Since he sort of ruins a lot of the, the holes that you're going to use. There's nothing useful. I've got this done. Too easy. Dang, you win for a ball. Those are one of my least favorite segments of this game, if only because they're the only non... Like, the rest of the game is just pure puzzle apart from those. They're kind of fun, I guess, but just like... I, I don't like that they're not... That they're testing, like, reflexes. It's still strategy, but time strategy. I feel like I feel like timing detracts from possible strategy. S saying that even as someone who plays, there's two doors here too. Saying that even as uh, someone who plays fighting games, which are basically strategy games at uh, 60 FPS. Every level has 20 cabbages, a uh, percentage of the map to explore, um, four things to collect, and a bonus to get. And also, somewhere in every level there is a hint on how to kill the boss. King Garoon is the boss here. Watch where, watch the shadow. Place push pins where he lands. Strategy. Kangaroo more like fucker. Fuck. Throwing delicious apples at me. You're invincible while sniffing. For the most part, you're invincible while underground, but there are some enemies that can travel underground, and there are like one or two instances in the game of things that can hurt you. You can probably put it under him again while he's jumping around. Things that can hurt you while you're underground. Like Funtan, I think. I'll go to the other hole. Just collect these hearts. Um, well, that's inconvenient. Okay. Bonk. Where's my cabbage? A baby. Oh my god, he's so cute. My name is Muddy Mole and I'm on a quest to save my six children and wife. Or is it seven children and wife? Seven children and wife. I got a hundred points. So it immediately level opens up every single level in the game. If I was an asshole I'd immediately do level seven. But I think I'm gonna do them in order hints and stuff. What on earth is that creature over there? It looks stupid as hell. Fun fact, you can travel around faster if you're not digging new dirt but taking an established path. Clearly intended, clearly a gameplay mechanic. Very important later in the game when there are enemies that can only travel along the established paths. Uh, 
Oh my god, look, I got fake tattoos. Dinosaur. Look at this one, look at this one. It's like awesome Osaurus. Eat shit. There's the map. I've forgotten that before. i played this game many times. That wasn't clear. Oh fuck. I didn't have enough charge. Enemies go into this little mode where they walk in the same direction for a little while after you hit them. You can use that sometimes. Dirt. Let's not forget the map. You can only dig holes on certain surfaces. There needs to be a uh, soil underneath. Well, sometimes, um, you, you can't burrow even when there is soil underneath, like here. You also can't poke your head out. And you don't need a hole to sniff above. game has cool mechanics. Makes it an excellent puzzle game. And how many other puzzle games do you get to kill T-Rexes with a giant bowling ball? I can't think of one immediately. It's important to look at every single place underground and above ground, just to make sure you don't miss anything. How does he stand to do that even when he's underground? That guy gives you hearts for free. You can always come back to one of those rooms. He will always have a new heart. These guys are weird looking. The enemy design in this game is bizarre. That's one of the most annoying enemies in the game. It's a Sammy brother. They uh, walk circles around things. They will always uh, follow a path along. This is another room with two du doors. Did I just forget that that was a common thing? The bonus. This format is also annoying, because he also tends to dig up the holes. These were like super hard when I was a kid. Oh jeez. Why does it seem like I have a lot of time now? I feel like I've got so much time. <laughs> when I was a kid I couldn't even beat those half the time. Am I just more efficient at moving, or did I just get hit a lot? You lose five seconds every time you get hit. But it's not like I'm really even avoiding it that hard. Another restoration room. Enemies don't despawn if you don't finish all doors in a room. More Sammy Bros. There's a boss version of these guys called Sammy Bros. 
I don't know what the individual ones are named, if they have names at all, which they probably don't. This is a fine place to dig a hole. This game is so speedrun friendly because even if you like... There's no like fast way to do things, it's just following very specific cycles. It's just doing the exact moves that you need to do as fast as possible. And finding, you know, it's all routing. It's all finding the shortest possible way through a level. And that strikes me as really cool. Oh, the potion. Forgot about that. Is there any fast way to do this room? I'm like forcing myself to use existing holes, but obviously I could dig new ones. I can't dig a new one there. <laughs> it's a little fanfare that plays. This is the second most annoying enemy in the game. It travels diagonally. Which means it has phantom hitboxes for days. And also makes it somewhat hard to kill. The rooms where you don't have to go underground are frequently the rooms where there are secrets if you go underground. Which is rather ingenious by design. This, this, this room is like a bowling alley. Get to try and time your shots. Flatten these fuckers. I guess there's no timing in bowling. That guy needs to die. But, uh, none of these holes are connected to each other besides these two to just each other. There's a hint there. It's the hint on how to beat the boss. I can't get to it from the room in its current configuration. Yeah, so Level beaten? If you didn't go that way. I mean, you already know to go that way because you've been that way in your map. But if you didn't know to go that way, you wouldn't get 100% in the level. And God forbid. Die. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It is not by my hand that I am once again given flesh. Oh shit, I don't remember how it goes. I was brought back my... Something, something, men who wish to do... Wish to do my bidding. I don't remember. What's the line that it leads into? Pay me tribute, that's it. Because then uh, Richter Belmont says, Tribute. You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man, Crash? This is probably the easiest boss in the game. Kind of a joke. But enough talk have at you. Oh, I won. My baby. Oops. Did I really throw him all the way around Earth? I strongly remember a Sonic the Hedgehog TV show. Remember that, the Sonic, the Sonic, the shitty one? The really bad one with the the chicken and the, the drilling thing? There was one of those that had like a PSA at the end that was like, 
Um, I don't remember what happened. Tails got lost or something. And Sonic freaked out. But Tails walked off one side of the screen and then walked onto the other side like two minutes later. I was like, how fast were you moving, Tails? That show is so bad. When I was a little kid, I really wanted to like video game shows. Video game shows were so bad. <laughs>